Okay, so we are recording. So hopefully this recording is going to help those who are trying to check out what is this book club. And hopefully this will give them uh, a good expectation of what they can expect when they join the book club. So welcome, ladies. Welcome, everybody, to our very first book club, Ladimi Book Club. And my name is Pina Oi. Um, and I'm so excited that you're here. This is our first time. I know, <laughs> Gabby, I'm excited too. <laughs> um this is our first time doing this. And so uh, we're going to figure this out as we go. We're going to find our rhythm and hopefully we can accommodate everyone's wishes and everyone's, um, uh, what do you call that, suggestions. Okay. So um, I have uh, also handed out some Zoom backgrounds. I don't know, just, just for funsies, if you want, okay, in the future or now, have, have at it. I put, I'm going to upload a lot of stuff in this uh, link there, the bit.ly uh, link, Ladimi uh, hyphen book hyphen club. Okay, so everything, reading schedules will be uploaded there. Um, Zoom backgrounds are already uploaded there. So that will be our go-to, okay, for anything that has, uh, that is related to uh, this, the, the, this book club. Okay, so why did you design, decide to join the book club? Maybe I'm here just to observe. I have never uh, participated in the book club. I just want to know what, I just want to see. That's a reason. Or I've always wanted to join a book club or or I want to grow in, in, in reading. I'm not a reader and I feel like this is a time that I can build the habit of reading. You know, whatever it is, everyone's going to have different reasons, okay? So go up to the chat. And click on the link. We already have one response here to learn together. Um, I, the reason I would decide a, a book club is to get into the habit of reading because I can be so busy doing so many things and then I just forget to read. Um, I used to read more when I was when I was younger. I remember if I go, you know, to lessons or whatever, I would always have a book with me. I kind of grew out of that habit and I want to get back into the into the reading uh, habit, okay? All right, so we've got to learn together, um, to learn about popular books, about God and Christianity, good. I, I love references to like, hey, give me stuff uh, that's good to read. Like what, what's, what's a, what are some recommendations, you know, that's, that's, that's good out there. So I'm very happy and very honored to introduce to you some of these amazing books that we have uh, on 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 the menu. Okay, <laughs> and uh, first of all is Timothy Keller because just to honor his legacy and what a better way to start than his very basic book, uh, The Prodigal God. Right? Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, I love reading, and this is my second book about Christianity. Yay! I'm so excited for you. Okay. Um, I think the other thing that I look forward to is uh, the fact that this is a Christian book club. So we're very intentional with also our spiritual growth. We're very intentional with, okay, what is God speaking to you and how he, is he ministering to you uh, via this book club? Okay. So that's what we are. That's what I'm looking forward to as well, because it's a, it's a Christian setting. So our spiritual growth is for sure, uh, going to be um, mentioned. Okay, it's go We're going to minister to our hearts too. Okay, um, let's see. I want to know what a book club is, and I want to learn together. Yep, we're we're about to find out what this book club is. <laughs> um, because Ladimi always give quality form to think about. I was hesitant reading Particle God by Tim Keller, but then I'm reminded again in Ladimi, we are all ladies and we trust quality knowledge. We love quality knowledge, okay? And I can assure you um, what we read from Tim Keller is not only quality knowledge, but it's also going to massage your heart. It's really going to minister to your heart, okay? Uh, look forward to it. Another another lady said, because I love to read and I kind of miss my old book club. Okay, so someone did join a book club. Okay, so I'm open to suggestions, okay? If you have a suggestion about what your old book club did that you find um, very, very effective, reach out to me. And this time about God and Christianity, so even better. Yes, I'm here for the ministry as well. Holy Spirit is always here with us ministering to our hearts, okay? 
Let's go over here. So blessed to join Ladimi to join the book club because I love to read and I want to read with sisters in Christ. That's even amazing to be in community, to be reading the same thing. And like, I want to know what is God saying to you about this? What did you think about this chapter? It's always good to, to have this community, right? To push me to read and learn and grow. Yes, we want to be pushed to read um, and also to share. This is going to be our next uh, next step, like to share <laughs> what it is that you've read, to share your questions. Um, if you are an introvert, this is your time to grow, right? And if you're an extrovert, this is your time to take turns <laughs> when you want to share. Um, so we're all growing here. Um, I've always wanted to join a book club. I've read the ebook sample of The Prodigal God before, and I want to learn more about the book. You will not regret this. This is going to be very, very ministering to you too. Um, it's all, I always wanted to join a Christian book club, plus it's Ladimi, even better, who hosts it. So I'm excited to be back to this community after a while. I'm excited that you are here as well. I want to have a ladies community to discuss about the word of God through a discussion of reviewing some books. And you are in the right place. I'm so honored that you have decided to join us. I pray that God will use this medium, will use this community and all the different ladies here to speak to your heart. Okay. All right. So uh, kind of um, in line with what we talked about. Okay. So let me see. Come on. Work with me. Work with me here. All right. What do you hope to gain by joining this book club? Okay. What do you hope to gain uh, by joining this book club? These, these are my hopes and dreams. These are my expectations um, from joining this book club. I hope to, by the end of this book club, da 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 da, da okay? I want to gain insight. I want to gain um, whatever. Um, I want to be able to speak up more. I want to be able to um, ask critical questions, to train myself, to ask good questions. What do you hope to gain? Uh, I, I hope to gain some teaching from this or whatever it is. Everyone has different um, expectations. Everyone has different hopes. Let's move it to the chat box. What is your expectation and what do you hope to gain from joining this book club? Answers in the chat. Let's move it to the chat. What do you hope to gain? Okay, so let's start with Gabby. I hope to gain new knowledge about a new perception about my faith in Christianity. Very good. Let's deepen that. Let's deepen having a, 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 a deeper knowledge, uh, appreciation of who God is and what he has done for us, okay, to, to, to grow. Um, and then Meta, thanks for answering there, to have a deeper understanding and deeper as in better and right understanding of the scripture. Yep, good. I hope I could get to know more about God, to grow in Christ with everyone here, all the ladies. Okay, thank you so much for that. Uh, dreamy, to gain more knowledge, insights, and the right understanding from God's uh, point of view. Very, very good. I, I love I love the hunger for learning here, ladies. I really love that. Um, sh I'm sure the book is selected because it must be a very interesting book. Yes, and I will, I will share to you a little bit about my... Uh, how I'm tied to that book, how that has blessed me specifically, to get a different perspective about Christianity. Uh, Mika, this is actually a very good answer because I um, I come from a, um, a, let's say, a denomination that's more of a, a charismatic background. And so I grew up with, I guess, reading charismatic authors, right? And so Timothy Keller is from a Presbyterian denomination. So this is my first, I, I guess he would be my first author that I learn from, that I study from, that is from a different denomination, from Presbyterian denomination. And I learned so, so much. So when you say that to get a different perspective about Christianity, I agree with that, Mika, very, very much, because we can learn so much from people from different denominations from different streams of 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 christianity so very very good for us to not be caught in an echo chamber so like if all your authors are all charismatic uh preachers then um that's not a very um 
very rich selection, right? But if you have a diverse selection, like even, even older, um, I, I'm reading now a, a book also by a, a very, an older Catholic priest. So just to be open and just to read uh, what they have to say on these topics and how God is using them to also minister to my heart, okay? So this is a very, very good um, uh, hope and expectation. I really appreciate that, uh, Mika. Lenny, to gain more about uh, God and know others' perspective about Christian books, yeah, books about Christianity, so, so good. I'm I'm also here for the recommendation uh, just to see what uh, what are other books out there that I've never heard of, okay? And I'm I'm so excited to show you what's what's on the menu. I will show you in in just a few a uh, few minutes. Reni, hope to be refreshed by the new perspective from this book, also to rebuild reading habit. Yes, I am right there with you. Um, be refreshed by the new perspective. This is going to be my second time reading. And so uh, I'm circling back after after 10 years. And and it's so, so it, it's going to be such an interesting spot to come back to the book that really changed your life 10 years ago and to see it from looking back, you know, 10 years. Uh, I love that. And then Santi, hope to cultivate a reading habit and to finish the book. Yes. <laughs> Since I am not a reader, so I believe suggestion from Ladimi is worth to read the book. Yes, I, I appreciate that so much, Santi. We really prepare our books um, uh, carefully and very selectively um, so that we can all be enriched, so that we can all grow. And um, Erita, oh, you're asking, can we also introduce ourselves briefly um, before discussing the book? I would, I would go, I would go that direction. Um, but let me just quickly go through what I need to go go through so that I can present all the information. And then towards towards the end, I would love to just everyone introduce so that we know uh, who to expect, who to expect when when we have our meeting next week. Thank you so much for that. OK, let me quickly share my screen with everyone. OK, so just very, very quickly, just to make sure that everyone's on the same page with what to expect um, and some guidelines and. Um, uh, expectations. So this book has changed my life uh, significantly. And just very, very briefly, um, in 2012, um, 11, yeah, 2012, my parents got divorced and they were pastors. And that really shook me. That really, um, I questioned everything about life. I questioned about ministry. We grew up ministering in church as long as I can remember, like we were the family that ministered from, from a platform on, on church, a platform ministry in church. Okay. So I, I was so confused. Like, why, why is this happening? Why is my world basically uh, crumbling <laughs> at that point? And I remember in, in one of my searches of confusion, I, I was introduced to Timothy Keller by, by a friend we were having lunch together and she just came back from a YWAM trip in the US. And then she's like, yeah, this preacher um, in New York and he has a church in New York and he used to be a, you know, he used to be an atheist. And so now his ministry is geared towards ministering atheists and skeptics. I'm like, oh, that's very interesting. And I read, well, first I heard the podcast of his sermon, The Prodigal God. And then after that, I, I I went over to to reading this book, and that's when I first was this this shifted my paradigm. I for the first time I think after twenty six years, <laughs> being I was twenty six at that time, twenty six twenty seven, and just been ministering in church my whole life. I never really knew what the good news of the gospel was until I read this book. This book showed me where I was, um, if I was either the younger brother or the older brother. So I was a good pastor's kid. So that puts me as the older brother because the older brother is the good, the good son trying to please the dad and trying to be do everything good. But at the same time, 
does not have a relationship with the Lord, right? Doesn't have, doesn't want the father, just wants the stuff. And this book showed me that I really didn't want my relationship with God. I wanted a good life. I wanted the stuff, the things, the blessing. Like I wanted a family that was, uh, that was not broken like this. Like I wanted a successful ministry. I wanted everything to go uh, successful because that's that's the recipe, right? You serve God, you do all these good things and God's supposed to bless you. Well, little did I know that I was exactly like the older brother, the elder brother in 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 this in this in this parable. And so um I my life was changed, my my paradigm shifted. Now I see that it's not about what I do, it's not about the good things, the moral works that I do, but it's about what Jesus did for me. And just as God reaches, the father reaches out to the older brother and the younger brother, God is re reaching out even at this moment of brokenness to me, this, this older brother, uh, pastor's kid that's trying to, to live a good life and still thinks that she deserves a good life, right? At that time. And so that's how it has shifted me. And from then on, um, I cannot unsee the gospel. I cannot unsee the good news whenever I come across um, sermons, uh, teaching, songs, uh, Christian songs. I, I always need to see where is the good news? Where is the gospel? And I'm so grateful, grateful for Tim Keller and his ministry that has really, really shifted my paradigm. Like who knew God would use a Presbyterian pastor to minister to an Indonesian girl from a charismatic background, you know, and, and would, would um, shift her paradigm completely. So that, that is my little um, uh, moment with the prodigal God. And I'm so excited to revisit. And I know people say, I mean, CS, even C.S. Lewis says, right, you read books multiple times because uh, you can see the journey where you have been. So come, coming back, circling back to this book 10 years later, this is going to be very, very um, new and also refreshing to see how much God, how faithful God has been and how much he has taken uh, me in this journey, okay? So that's just very quickly about the prodigal God. Um, sorry, I missed one, one, um, one uh, what do you call that answer here? Feba, just want to make sure that I cover your answer. I hope to gain new friends in the same faith, new community, of course, the personal uh, growth and knowledge in the person of Christ and the Bible. Um, never joined a book club before, always wanted to. And yes, another boost for a good reading habit. I'm right there with you, girl. And the book that is chosen, Particle God, Recovering the Heart of Christian Faith, seems very, very appealing. Well, this is not intimidating at all. So we chose the easiest, <laughs> the easiest book. And um, I, I, I hope this is uh, um, appealing and also going to be ministering to us all. Okay, so here's the menu, ladies. If you are like me and you're a planner and I'm like, I need to know in advance what I need to order because shipping, shipping is a thing, right? Shipping is an issue, especially this is the English group. So English books uh, automatically becomes longer in shipping. Okay. And it's longer in, it's just more complicated to get English books. Okay. So these are the, the two books that are lined up for um, this month until the end of the year. Okay. So we have Prodigal God by Tim Keller. Finding the Love of Jesus from Genesis to Revelation by Elise Fitzpatrick. Um, also another person that has shifted uh, my, my paradigm in, in a very, very wonderful way. And Gentle and Lowly by Dane Ortland. So these are the books on the menu. If you want to go ahead and have a look, you know, is it on Tokopedia? Is it not on, in Tokopedia? Is it um, is it an open trolley or is it something that I can tip my friends who are <laughs> traveling abroad? You know, whatever it is, do what you need to do because I know shipping is a thing when it comes to English books. And if you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna do the the easy way, which is the ebook. Ebooks are also available. Okay, <laughs> that's super uh, uh, convenient, and we live in a digital age. We we can read from our tablet, phone, iPad, laptop, Kindle, 
like there there are so many options for you to choose from okay so i thought i would give this in advance um so that you can um arrange what needs to be arranged and you have enough time to do that okay and then um by the end of 2023 december i'm going to have to give you guys the menu for the the next year right the following year so you guys can also uh, figure out what you guys want to do okay yes gabby i'm excited too <laughs> like we're gonna try to keep this going <laughs> so excited and um so looking forward to this okay so prodigal god tim keller finding the love of jesus from genesis to revelation by elise fitzpatrick and then gentle and lowly by dane ortland these are um, non-intimidating books they're 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 not for seminary students <laughs> these books are not for seminary students so uh calm down it will be um we we can figure it out okay we can do this step by step and uh it's not going to overwhelm you um uh, for the rest of the year okay okay so let's just quickly go through um uh, what does the reading schedule look like? So basically, we're going to give about a month for each book, roughly, okay? And um, we're going to read the pre-read assigned chapters independently. So that means we will all read independently. You know, you can go to a coffee shop. You can sit in nature. You can, you know, read in the car, in traffic. Right? You can just read this uh, independently and um we have around two chapters a week and um i think i have do i have this here yeah okay so we're gonna pre-read the chapters independently around two chapters a week the schedule is already on the website and the website is let me just do the um put this on again bitly ladimi uh hyphen book hyphen club so if you go there there you will find the reading schedule but it's basically just two chapters a week okay if you're like i'll figure it out it's just two chapters a week while you're reading while you're sitting in traffic while you're sitting in nature while you're waiting for your kids to finish their lessons and you're just reading you know whatever it is Think about highlights, okay? What are some things that stood out to you? Like, oh yeah, this part is so good, okay? Or this part really, really touches me and it really stands out. Um, think about those things, okay? Because you want to bring them to the book club discussion when we meet, okay? And then uh, think about one question that we can, that you can ask the group. You can ask all of us for our next meeting, okay? So think about two things, highlights, and then think about one question. What is one question that pops up in your head when you're reading this, and then we wanna bring it to the, the meeting, the gathering, the book club gathering the following week, right? Or that, that week. Um, so we wanna come together, we wanna discuss highlights, what stood out to you? when you read that okay what did you um uh yeah what did the holy spirit inspire you know when you're like oh this is this is directed at me okay so highlight those things right uh, remember and 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 bring it to the discussion and um after we go around the room giving our highlights okay so that means i'm going to give my highlight erita is going to give her highlight gabby's going to give her highlight janesha is going to give her highlight blah 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 blah. everybody give their highlights okay and then we go uh for a second round and that second round is the discussion questions so these are questions that you have that you brought as you read the book okay um, and then you ask that question and then let's see, let's see who, who has uh, the insight to answer. And this is what makes it exciting because we have no idea what question you will bring. <laughs> we don't know what questions you have and we don't, we, we can't plan this in a way. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, spontaneity involved here too, um, which, which is what's going to make it um, exciting, spicy, if you might say it. Okay. So let's let's do that. Let's remember those two things, right? So the highlights and the question 
that you want to bring to the group. So each person will contribute a question. And I think we have a pretty good amount of number of people here that it's not overwhelmingly too big for us to have a question. But if it is overwhelmingly growing to the point where, oh, we can all answer this question. <laughs> Okay, we only have we can only have one person to answer Gabby's question, or only one person can answer Erida's question. If it's if we grow so big to the point where we don't got time for this, um, this is this is the guidelines. This is where the guidelines comes in. Okay, so these are the guidelines that we want to um, be reminded of, um, so that we can have a a pleasant experience for for everybody okay so um we'll get back to that taking turns a bit later but the first guideline is we want to read the book uh or we want to read the assigned chapters now i know you don't have to read the book for this meeting because we're just introducing this but we want to read the book because i believe that god is going to speak to you as you are reading and um uh, what what you have to bring to the book club is valuable and in order for, for you to have something to bring to the book club you're going to have to read the book right so let's read the assigned chapters you can get the reading schedule at bit.ly slash ladimi hyphen book hyphen club and then you can get all your um, resources there um should be super easy two weeks, two chapters a week, I think is, is pretty, it's doable, right? If you, if you looked at it, I mean, I, I had to, I had to look through it and I'm like, okay, so two weeks, uh, sorry, two chapters in a week. It looks okay. Like I, I can, I can do this. We, we can do this two, two chapters for, for seven days. We can do this. Okay. Just sit in traffic <laughs> while you're sitting in traffic, instead of doing something on your phone, we can just read through this and you'll be done. Super, super easy. Okay. Um, so we want to do that. The second guideline is let's arrive on time, which which I don't think this is a problem um, since we had Ladimi running. Everyone's been on time. So this is not an issue for us. Um, be kind and courteous, practice respectful honesty. So this is when it comes to a, when we have a heated discussion. Now, I know we all come from different different backgrounds. We all come from different experiences. And sometimes maybe we feel like, oh, I have so much to say about this. Or, uh, oh, what she's saying is actually not my, not like my experience. And th there could be some things that, you know, that, that the Holy Spirit brings up. <laughs> Uh, triggers that the Holy Spirit brings up that we need ministering. We want to practice to be kind and courteous. If it reminds you of like, oh, that reminds me of something not very pleasant. Um, actually, that's not very true, blah, 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 blah. We want to be respectful of 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 people's insights. Um, we want to know that every uh, remember that everyone's coming from different backgrounds and and just to um practice respectful honesty. So tips like I I see what you're saying about this but in my experience this is what i've experienced right so just some just some helpful tips on how to um how how to practice honesty but in a respectful way where we are protecting everyone's hearts right um so that's uh number three and then number four is if you are shy if you are an introvert, if you're someone like me, like this is number four speaks to people like me because because we're we're the types of people who don't who don't really want to uh what do you call that uh, shake the waters. We're just like we're just observing. We're 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 chill. We're okay. We're good. You don't need we don't need to say anything. We're fine. You know we're just we're just here. I'm good with letting the 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 dominant people talk, you know, go for it. <laughs> that's that's my personality. Every time I'm in a big uh, like in a small group, I always pay attention like who likes to talk or well, she likes to talk. Okay, just let her talk, you know. Um but that means I'm not growing up. I'm not I'm not growing in this area. So for someone like me, I need to grow to speak up and share my thoughts. I need to be intentional in like, okay, I really don't like to, to speak my mind, but 
I'm going to push myself to, to speak up and share my thoughts. Okay. So if that's you, um, let's grow in this area. And, and this is what we say in Ladimi all the time. Let's grow together. Right? <laughs> let's grow together. So if we, um, if we have a, if we have a, if you're a plant mommy, I'm sure you want to see your plant growing, right? You want to see growth in your plant. If you're a, a mommy, a human mommy, you want to see your babies grow, right? You want to see growth in your baby. If you're a businesswoman, you want to see your business grow. If you're, you know, whatever it is, we all want to see growth. So in the same way, or if you're in a dating relationship, you want to see your dating relationship grow, right? Into something more, uh, hopefully into, into engaged uh engage relationship one day so we want to see growth in 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 places so why don't we also want to see growth in in our spiritual walk in our spiritual growth in our um uh, where we feel insecure okay so we want to feel growth in our weaknesses too so if you are afraid of speaking up if you're shy this is a safe place for you to practice. This is a safe place for you to grow and to contribute what you have to say, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna head over and talk to the extroverts. Now, extrovert ladies, people who love to talk. You can talk and talk and talk, all right? I'm gonna address you in, in this area. You have also a area for growth and that growth looks like taking turns that growth looks like oh that person wants to say something i already said what i needed to say uh let let them let them uh share what they need to to share and i can i can wait okay um that's going to be your growth <laughs> for you <laughs> so this is going to be for for both sides for the introvert ladies and the extrovert ladies okay so we want to make sure that oh did you get a chance to speak okay okay just making sure. Uh, did you want to say something? I noticed that you had your hand up. Go for it. Okay. So um, go ahead and do that and, and be mindful of taking turns. It's easier, I think, for us in in um, a Zoom setting because you can, you can see <laughs> hands raised or whatnot. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's easier to take turns and it's it's a lot harder for everybody to talk at the same time. Okay, so this is one of the advantages of 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 the Zoom. I can't imagine if we do this in person. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, you need to you need to wait. <laughs> okay, so let's let's all grow in our respective areas where God has called us to grow. Okay, now the other guideline is make sure you bring the question, bring a question because or two if you're if you're feeling extra, bring two. Um, because this is going to spark some thinking, spark some discussion, you know, uh, it will challenge us to go where, uh, where we usually wouldn't go before. Okay. So I, I want you to guys, I want you guys to, to, to be very intentional with what questions should I bring to the book club next week? Or what, what, what two questions can I ask, um, to, to, to stimulate uh, thinking, okay, to, to critically think and to challenge our mindset um, from what we what we read. So that's um, that's the the other the other thing we can do, okay. And then next one is to stay on topic. Um, I will be there to guide you. <laughs> I will be a, a a bird on your shoulder. Okay, to say, okay, we need to stay on topic. <laughs> this this doesn't have to do what with what we're talking about. This has nothing to do with with you know the parable or prodigal God. Like I will help you if if you're running on a tangent, that's okay. We have lots of ladies here to help. Like, okay, let's let's get back to what what the question that was uh asked to the question that was asked by by this person. Okay, like let's let's answer the question, okay. So let's remember to stay on topic. And um, the next one, do I have a next one? Oh, have fun. <laughs> Don't forget to have fun. <laughs> Enjoy the time together. 
um, may have a good laugh, you know, and, and, and don't be too um, tense. Uh, this is not a formal gathering, bring snacks, bring coffee, you know, like this is all very, very uh, informal setting. Like I know we're talking about God, but uh, God is fun. Okay. He's not um, like, you need to be uh, quiet and all serious. Like, no, no, just bring whatever you need to bring to the table. Okay. God can handle it. We can have fun um let's see what else do i need okay so any questions are there any questions that you would do would like to ask regarding the book club that i did not address please feel free to ask unmute yourself or uh, type it in the chat um just to make sure that i covered everything in our introduction session if not that means i've covered them all but just to double check um if i miss anything Oh, hi, Fina. I think it's good if you can share the material, the guidelines, so yeah. that the guidelines that you shared with us earlier. Oh yeah, I can put it up on the website. Sounds All right. very good. Let's let's put it up on the on the Bitly address. Make sure that you are saving that address. Um, let's see. Did I put it here? Did I put it here? I'm trying to. Yeah, I'll just type it again. Bit dot Lee. Ladini Python book Python. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So, uh, bookmark that page if you are on your on your phone browser or your uh, computer browser. Just bookmark that thing so we always come back to that page for anything that is up uploaded so that you can download it for for your own reference. Okay. So I will put the discussion guideline what we talked about today also on there. Okay, thanks so much for that, Eric. Oh. That, that's such a good suggestion. Um, Gabby, you had a question there. Go for it. Um, are we one hour Zoom class, I mean, uh, book discussion club, or one hour, 15 minutes? And then for the next week, so we have to prepare two chapters already read, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so next week, we would have read chapter one and two already. And then we will... Well, I, we have one hour slot for the entire thing. We have one hour slot to talk about your highlights, okay, for us to 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 share our highlights and for us to ask the question and for people to answer. So we'll we'll see how how many of us turn up. If there's 20 again uh, turning up next week, then we might have to take turns a little bit more. Um, but if we have less people, then we can do double dip. Uh, even more so we can have two people answering the questions but if it's just if, if it's if it's more then we will we will need to adjust we'll figure it out as we go but reading wise that is correct Gabby we would have read chapter one and two for be, before we we meet next week any other question uh regarding this yep Erita one quick question because I noticed also on top of uh e online uh, mm -hmm. uh so ebook you also mm -hmm. can i can also order like the uh hard, hard copy. copy yeah for the hard copy how long does it take for delivery it depends on your uh which which vendor that you are buying from um i would it's just ask to share the link right and i just tried i think there's a call one website so i don't know if you no, but I, I would check. Uh, it depends. You can you can order from Tokopedia. You can order from OpenTrolley.co.id. Uh, Both have okay. different shipping uh, options. So I would just check again with with who did you buy from, and then ask them when is this item going to arrive. So, but okay, that's cool. good that you have both just in case. She is on top of it. Yes, you are. Um, any other questions, ladies? Um, before we dismiss. Is that clear? Good to go. Y'all excited? Okay, so remember, we're gonna look at the highlights. What are what are some highlights? What are some things that stood out for you? And then at least one question. What one question can you bring to the discussion group next week? And um, I'm looking forward to it because we don't know what what questions you will bring. So that is the excitement part of it. Okay, let's wrap this up in prayer. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for this time that we have together 
that um, you are so intentional with us, even with the book that we are reading. Um, you already know how this is going to minister to us. You already know what our heart needs, uh, our hearts need to hear. So I pray that in the next week, as we are reading chapter one and chapter two, I pray that Holy Spirit speak to us, touch our hearts, move our hearts so that we will fall in love with you even more that we may see Jesus as the one that is most beautiful. So thank you, Lord. Bless these ladies, uh, bless their families and, and, and their leisure time. Have, have, let them have a great time with, with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.